Hello, my name is Sean Carney and I work with the Technical Services Department here at Polyglass. Today I've got a short video for you on the proper way or the best way to mix a five gallon bucket of roof coating. I know many of us have probably been out on a job site and maybe thought, well, maybe it looks like it's been mixed or maybe the last guy mixed it, but we wanted to make sure you understand why you need to mix it and, and make sure that you understand how that'll help you uh, have a better product or a better project when it's all said and done. So today I've got a bucket of our Polybrite 70, which is an acrylic roof coating or a water-based product, and it's the light tan color, one of the colors that we make. Before we start, I would like you to come down and uh, take a little bit closer look at the product with me in the pail itself. So you see this clear liquid right here on top of the pail? It's actually pretty important stuff. The coating is actually designed to do this. It's a clear liquid that floats to the top. That way the coating underneath doesn't skin up on the lid or doesn't splash up on the lid. How many times have you opened something like this and seen all your expensive coating stuck to the top of that lid? Nothing you're going to do uh, to get that up on the roof. So when you see this, and you've probably seen it in other materials, that's what it is. It's actually designed to do that. It's also part of the coatings, and if we don't get it mixed back in, you can actually have something stiff or a little bit harder to apply. So anyway, when you see it, now you know what it is, and, uh, and we'll go on to the next step. So anytime I'm going to mix a pail of product, I try to have a few tools uh, around to uh, make the job a little bit uh, easier of a process. So uh, I have a, pa a pail of clean water here, three or four gallons. Uh, disposable gloves, if you uh, prefer those. Uh, I like just a pair of good work gloves. I have uh, a pair of safety glasses here so I can protect the Ray-Bans. I've got uh, a couple of rags or some paper towels. And I've got a drop cloth in the entire area to catch any uh, spills or drips that might come along. Okay, let's talk a little bit about mixing equipment. There's a couple different types. I brought two here. This one is a dedicated drywall and paint or coating mixer. So the nice thing about this is it's designed to stand up by itself, goes right into a five gallon pail. So if you're going from one to the next, it's very easy to use. It's got a nice big mixing basket at the bottom of it. The larger the basket, the quicker it's gonna uh, mix and the uh, more thorough it's gonna be. The other type that you have is just a good industrial drill, good heavy duty drill. Make sure it's a half inch at least. Make sure it's got one of these handles because when you're uh, mixing you can create a lot of torque. And again, make sure that you uh, get a good mixing basket at the bottom of it. If you're going to use an industrial drill, the other thing you're going to want to have handy is a saw horse because uh, they're a little bit top heavy and they will not stand up on their own. So something to keep in mind and uh, a little bit of investment in mixing uh, will make your guys faster and, uh, and you'll have a better job. So we'll start off at about quarter power on the mixer and we'll work our way up to about half power. You don't want to use full power on mixers. You'll, you can actually mix air into the product making it a little bit stiffer. So a uh, quarter up to about half uh, is usually uh, more than enough power. Usually it takes two to five minutes. About halfway through, I will stop and take and uh, run the bottom of the basket down along the corners of the inside of the buckets, make sure I can't feel anything down at the bottom. And then I'll go ahead and mix for a couple more minutes. Now you can see most of the clear liquid is gone now. It's a lot creamier looking. I'll use the uh, bottom of the basket, run it along the bottom, make sure I don't feel anything across the bottom. It feels pretty good. I'm going to mix it for a couple more minutes just to make sure. When I'm done, I'll go ahead and just put the mixer in this bucket of uh, clean water and we'll be ready. Take it off a little bit, drop it into your clean pail, and you can either go on to the next uh, pail of product or uh, go ahead and clean your mixer up. Uh, thanks for joining us uh, on this polyglass video. 
Uh, please be safe on the roof and uh, stay safe. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, there's going to be a uh, website at the end of the video. Just contact us there. Thanks again, folks.